Hey, I'm so thankful you're here. My name is May. Thank you so much for tuning in to Studio Mix at home. All right, this is gonna be short, all right? Under 30 minutes, we're gonna get your animalistic movement on, all right? So, get warmed up. So we're gonna use everything. We're gonna build functional fitness, all right? More fluidity, but also stability and strength. And then also, oh, a little scary adventure where you feel like you're falling. That's what you want to do is work your edge where it's a little bit scary. doesn't matter what it looks like. All right. First, let's acknowledge our feet and our hands. Uh, I do this warm-up every day. You're going to do it too. Lift your toes, lift your heels, lift your toes, lift your heels. And yes, you can do more. So let's do more. Inhale, lift the toes, lift the heels. One of the things I love so much about Studio Mix is power room. We've got this cushion here. So we're going to play a lot more with this agility. All right, so keep it safe. You want to be on the edge where it's kind of scary. Now, belly down, belly up, belly down, and belly up. All right, let's play. Belly down, belly up, belly down, belly up. Belly down. Yes, it can be any way you want. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Now, chest down. Oh, I think I want to be on my knees. Chest down. Chest up. Chest down. Chest up. Yes, it can be any way you want. Three more. Three. Two. And one. Now, take your right leg out. Side. Legs wider, it's harder, why? Because we don't turn our legs out like this that much, right? And now twist to the right. Curl the toes under, twist. They call this twisted camel, right? Twist, just get a change of scenery. Woo. Two more. Inhale and exhale. All right, spread those fingers wide. Bend the elbows, lift that tail up. They call this cow in yoga, right? Sexy cow, angry cat. Again, sexy cow, angry cat. Now go ahead and let's shift back and shift forward. So shift your butt back to your heels and then let your hips go by your wrists. So this is kind of like a loaded beast and then this is a little bit of a modified Floating up top. All right, let's do two more. Back, forward, one more. Back and forward. Now come to your feet. Bend your knees and come into this smalasana. If this is hard for you, fantastic. All right, you're upgrading your body, so you want to make it a little bit tough. If it's way too tough, make it a little bit easier. You can put something under your feet. If you've got something under your feet, all right. That's gonna make it easier. You wanna struggle a little bit. So if this is your struggling, that's it. You wanna hold there and see what's available, right? If you're saying, oh, it's so easy, good. Straighten the left leg, right? All you wanna do is struggle a little bit. Hold, four, three, two, and one. And take the hands down. Let's go from your hands to your feet. So warming up right here. Warming up where the hands and the feet are communicating together. All right? Woo, push. They're paying more attention. It doesn't matter what you're doing as long as you're getting up off the floor. Now inhale. Stand all the way up. Exhale, get back down. Now we're doing knee dips to chair. We're going to get right to it. Knee dip into a chair. Right? If it's harder, change it. If it's easier, make it faster. All right? So as many as you would like to do, I'll put the time on. All right? So we will work, but putting time in, you'll be better at, you'll be better at getting your core, having your core get you off the floor. Here we go. We'll do 30 seconds. Here we go. Ah. Ooh. One. Two. Whatever your number is, I'll try to tell you 15 seconds you can double it. Ooh. Ah. Try double your number, whatever it is. <sighs> practice, practice, practice. 
I tell you, I love this cushion. Here are studio rigs. And it's down all the way up. Pull back down. All right, take that right leg forward. So, we're gonna do some strength and resilience. We'll do both sides. 30 seconds. Three uh, exercises, 30 seconds. All right, so we're gonna bounce. I'm gonna tell you, we're gonna start counting. We'll try to double the number. All right, here we go. And Just count, and it should be hard. Bounce. You can have ten the fingertips, ten the fingertips. Ah, <sighs> double your number. Whatever it is, just try. Effort, effort, effort. Ah, oh. only thirty seconds. It's amazing what you can feel in thirty seconds. Ah, <sighs> all right. Now, right here, you're that animal. The left foot moves you forward. You think there's something yummy, you go to reach for it. And no, you don't like it. Throw it back. Here we go. And let's go. One, two. Keep going. Breathe. Yes, you can have music on in the background. Keep going. Keep going. Ah. Or hear yourself think, yes, I'm striving in the right. Double your number. Just try. Breathe. Keep going, keep going. Ah. Oh, only five seconds left. All right, last one. Move your left hand out to the side, right here. Turns are always trickier, you need more space. Move forward and try to turn, all right? And go, start counting. Detoxify your body by every that twist. Make sure you can breathe. <sighs> Keep going. You got it, you got it, you got it. Just do it. Fantastic. All right, back to the hands. Spread those fingers wide and let's make sure your core screwing the eye the elbow forward. Triceps are back, pointer fingers and thumbs pressing. Again, have it way back. So now we're gonna go to that forearm. I know you guys have all done forearm plank, right? So be able to get down from the floor and then come back up. So people do plank and then you see the shaking and then they just collapse and fall, right? You wanna be able to come down softly and come back up, come down soft, and come back up. Now let's go ahead and sink the feet in, and in yoga they call this a dolphin, right? So now lift the right elbow, lift the left elbow, and then do a little push up. Come back up, lower the left elbow, lower the right elbow, come back down. Good, let's do it again, here we go. Now maybe lift both elbows. Bend the elbows. Come down. All the way down. Forearm plank. Dolphin goes right into a push-up. Dolphin all the way down. Again, plank push-up. Goes right into plank. Woo! Do your best. Lift one elbow up at a time. All you want to do is be breathing and moving. Getting up and down off the floor. Change of scenery. One more. Ah, let's lie down. Acknowledge the back body and come back up. We'll do six more like that. Here we go. Inhale. Ha. Ah. Exhale. Whoo. Animals can't count, I don't think, right? Keep going. Again. Four. Exhale. Three. Doesn't matter how it looks. Two more, inhale, exhale, one more, inhale, and exhale, fantastic. We gotta do the other side, which I forgot to tell you, they're called lizards, okay? Left leg is in front of you, and you're a lizard, a very excited lizard. All right, so we get to do three on this side, 
Canada knows I always notice the size harder. <laughs> I'm not complaining. I'm just noticing. All right, right here. 30 seconds. Here we go. And start counting. Oh. Oh. Can't I wish you were doing this with me? A very excited lizard. <laughs> Breathe. Keep going. Breathe. Oh. Double your number. Do you have a harder side, Ken? <laughs> He's like, no, not me. Breathe. And five, four, three, two, one. All right, down that one where you move forward. There it is, there. You move forward. And you lift up. Oh. Oh. And start counting. Keep going. Ah. Breathe. Ah. Exhilarating. I hope that you're panting too. It's not just me. Keep going. Ah. Tell me your number. Go. Ah. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right. You need more space for this one. The twist and turn. Last one. Right here. Move forward. And then turn. See if you can touch four. If you can't, don't worry. I love this one. Success is not a destination. It's a direction. You're going in the success direction when you're striving. It's a little struggle. Woo. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good work. Bend your knees. Stand all the way up. I know what you want to do. You want to get down again. So we'll do another set of those knee dips to chairs, giving your wrists a break, all right? Here we go. And again, you're really tall, it's hard, no excuses. Right? Knee, dip, two, chair, okay? But I've been doing this for a while, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it a little differently. Here we go. And, I'm gonna start that timer again. Here we go. 30 seconds. Breathe. That's all you gotta do is breathe and put some effort in. Right? <sighs> Challenge yourself, but make sure it's fun. That's an order. It's gotta be fun. Keep going. Woo. Fantastic. All right, you're ready for a little wrist one. Wrist related. Parahastasana. Your feet are your padas. Your hands are your hastas. So important. That's why I wear these gloves. These are actually, they're not even new. They're old. They're compression gloves, but they keep my hands warm. And your muscles are always going to be nicer to you. If they're warm, pay attention, right? Don't make your body do stuff too much too soon, right? That's like trying to do too much on the first date, right? You gotta listen to your body and then fingers pointing towards you. Ah, uh, massage your wrists. And now you're also getting used to feeling like they're claw on your face. So, we're gonna practice more at the wall. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Hopefully you have a wall somewhere, right? I have a wall at home that it's, the, the wall's all dirty for my feet, right? So it'll be colorful, you'll have character. So you have space on the wall, and this stuff is so good, so good. What you're gonna do is you're gonna bend your knees, and there's no mirror behind your wall, I promise. I can't promise, but I'm pretty sure. You're gonna bend your knees so that your sit bones, you feel these two bony things, and they're sitting right in there. You got a little stretch there. Bend your knees, take your butt down, let your belly come onto your thighs, pull your belly in, you're sitting on that chair. And now just hang, right? So guess what, you could do this for the rest of the practice, you'll still get credit, all right? Let yourself hang. And now you're gonna taste your hands down. 
Yeah. You're going to take your right foot up. Yeah, we're going to bounce off the walls. And take your left foot up. Now if you're saying, oh no, my hands hurt. Make sure you're pulling your belly in and you're pushing your little toes there. Your feet are not too high, by the way. And you're going to step down the right and left. So we'll time our little drill here. All right? You're going to try to go as fast as you can. And you're just going to practice being lighter and lighter. And I'll time it. 30 seconds. All right? Do your best if it's challenging. Fantastic. Here we go. 30 seconds. And tap, tap. And it's not about how fast you go. It's about enjoying being lighter and lighter. So if it feels like it's super heavy, just try to go lighter and lighter. All right? Woo! And you feel that. Right? Woo! Keep going. Ah, five. Start off 
the left foot first, not too high, okay? Low, right there. And even just holding this, feel it, right? Your core is stronger, where you're not trying to be so heavy. And then left foot, right foot. All right, now we're gonna practice. Whatever you're doing, we're bouncing off the walls, walking up the walls. Here we go, 30 seconds. Don't analyze it, it will get better. Your body, your chain of body, what you want it to do, everything's coordinating. Woo. Make sure you're having fun. Everything gets better when you like it. Pour a little bit of playfulness into your practice. Woo. And patience. All right, that was 30 seconds already. And I know what you're thinking, you want to do one more set. So what we'll do is we'll do Warrior Three on the other side and then we'll do one more fun set, all right? Before that, open up. Ah, breathe, squeeze between the shoulder blades, get a change of scenery. And back to that gratitude attitude. You get to do your left leg, which I love my left leg. I love working this side. You know by now, right? All right, take that left foot forward. Right heel back. I'm so thankful for both of my legs, all right? Take that right leg way back. And press the right foot down. Oh, I think can't you do this high for me? Here we go. Oh, lift the left hand right hand. Oh, struggle. Whew. All right, I'll do eight. Here we go. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, hold it longer. You gotta love working the challenge side. Ah, and then hands down. Here we go. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, exhale. Kind of like a little. Boomerang, seesaw, all these things that work. Three more. Inhale. Oh, barely. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Oh, you can hold it. You can do a handstand if you want. Right. Step it back down. Take a little stretch. Rounding your spine. Shaking the head. No. Ah, not in the head, yes, yes, we'll do one more set right here. So now, I know what you're thinking. You want to hop with both feet on the wall, and we will. We'll try it, right? You never know what you to try. So, let's practice 30 seconds right here. Let's try the little hop, and now. Things on the floor that you probably haven't done yet today. All 
all right? We rolled on our stomach. Now, we haven't done all this stuff. I know you don't do a lot of this because you can't drag your car or chest with your arms back here, right? So, lovely that with this, nice, your hand, hopefully maybe you have carpet at home, right? You're on a mat, but there's carpet underneath. Squeeze between the shoulder blades to make sure you're opening up because gravity does that. Right? So squeeze between the shoulder blades and then move the foot back and move the foot forward. So this is a lot easier on the wrist um, than a lot of the, this stuff. We've already done a lot of wrists, so let's just practice some easier things. Moving, all right? So we have to move back. Move back, back, move forward, move forward. And I know what you're thinking. You can lift the legs up, right, back, back, forward, forward. Ah, you can even have the legs wide. And move back, and move forward. So many weird things, right, that you don't normally do. All right, coming up. Skandasanas, all right? So we'll do skandasanas, which will prepare us for our side beast, our side of wing beast. And then we'll have, we'll have brunch. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna do some skandasanas. They're surfer lunges, which is lateral lunges. And guess what? Lateral lunges are harder, why? Because you don't walk like this. So, in yoga they call this skandasana. So guess what, whatever you have, that counts as skandasana. So, we'll do one minute of skandasanas, and I'll show you your variations galore, all right? Skandasana, skandasana, lateral lunge, lateral lunge. But don't think it's too easy. You can always make it easier, you can always make it harder, right? You can try to do the heel up, ooh. Ah. And can you get onto the floor? If you can't, that's okay, good. You want to explore what you cannot do. Maybe you can get onto the floor and do a little that, right? Oh, oh, hasn't even been 40 seconds. Oh. Being more agile, able to be mobile, less chances of injury. Right? Oh, hasn't been a minute yet. Woo. And then a little elevator drill. Elevator. How low can you go? Low, medium, high. Woo. One other side. Woo. Oh, that sounds good. Do a couple of windshield wipers. All right, one more to go. You're going to love this one, I promise. All right. So sideways, all right? So at home, this room, uh, we can move a lot. But instead, we'll just do side to side. We'll do two on each side. You're gonna bend your knees, okay? Reach your arms across. Your leading hand, uh, second hand. Your trailing leg is gonna be in back of the second hand. So you're gonna go here, and hop. Other way, other way. And here we go, we'll just practice, here we go. 10, nine, eight, Thanks so much.